Uh, number two, Mr Speaker. Minister. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's very good to be back as the newly appointed Minister for Science, yeah, Research yeah. and Innovation. And can I thank the Honourable Member for Mansfield for his tireless work on levelling up and the importance of innovation in supporting left-behind communities. Science and innovation are not the same thing. We're committed to being both a science superpower and an innovation nation, and that's why I'm looking hard at what we can do through the Business Innovation Forum, ARIA, Innovate UK and UKRI to drive levelling up. Ben Bloodley. Thank my honourable friend for that answer and welcome him back to his new position. Congratulations. Uh, Mr Speaker, there's an oven-ready package available in the East Midlands with key projects uh, set to boost private investment in the region. Government's backing for these projects this autumn is vital. Can my, uh, my honourable friend confirm that government is supportive of our plans for an East Midlands Freeport, of our development cooperation, of the, uh, uh, the importance of Toten within the integrated rail plan this autumn? And does he agree with me that this is a huge opportunity to attract private investment into a region that traditionally is at the bottom of those tables of attracting that kind of money? Minister. In a word, yes. Uh, he's made a very powerful case, and free ports uh, and regeneration corporations are vital to our innovation strategy. We're determined that, yes, there'll be funding for the Golden Triangle, but we want to harness science and innovation to drive growth around the country.